Welcome back to another Touring Teacher Lesson video. Today we are going way back in time and learning about something really cool called Morse code. Now before we start, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the lesson videos for you guys. Let's get started. So, as I said, we're learning all about Morse code. What is it and how is it used? Well, how were messages sent in the past? So this is way back, before we had text messages, before we had cell phones, before we had phones in the house. This is way, way back. Before we had the internet or telephones, the only way to communicate to each other was by sending a physical letter. This could often take a very long time. So there was no instant messenger for those guys. So when did this change? When the telegraph was invented in 1837, this allowed people to send electronic messages to each other over great distances for the very first time. You've got mail. So what exactly is a telegraph? Some of you might have heard that word before. For some of you, it might be brand new. How does a telegraph work? A telegraph is a machine that is used to transfer messages through long cables using electricity. People would press down on a compass needle onto a grid and the message would travel through the wires and come out in another location as a message. Let's look at a little picture to see how that might have worked. So, the person who had the machine would press the button where it says press here. They would tap out different codes. Then, the electronic signals would send the message up through the wires, through the power lines, and these signals would be delivered to a machine that would turn the signals into words. Or, there were some amazing people that could just listen to the message of the Morse code making the dots and all the funny noises, and they knew what the noises were, and they could write it into sentences. Pretty impressive. So, who invented this thing called Morse code? Morse code was invented in 1838, so long ago, by a man called Samuel Finley Breeze Morse. He invented Morse code as a simple way to use the telegraph system. He invented a new code called Morse code, which is like a new language. Some of you might be sitting there going, I've heard the word code used before. So you might have heard it when we're talking about computers or websites. You use code to make different symbols so that websites and lots of things work. So code has been around for a really long time, but it looked different back then. So what did Morse code sound like? We know that each letter had a different pattern of sounds of dots and dashes after it. So if you wanted to write a word or a whole sentence, it sounds maybe a little bit like a song. Let's hear what it sounds like. So let's look even closer into what is Morse code. Morse code is a combination of dots, dashes and spaces that together make letters and words. It is an alphabet that has been invented to simplify communication and create letters only using dots, dashes and spaces. So if you look at the picture up here, it's got all the letters of the alphabet and then you can see some black lines or black dots next to it. All of the black lines and the black dots is what the people would be doing when they're pressing the button down to make the Morse code. If it's just a little dot, they'd press it short and if it was a longer one, they would hold down the button so it would make the short or the longer sounds. So here are a few words or sentences, what they look like in Morse code and what they sound like. So 
So you might be wondering, okay, that's really cool. I'm learning new things about Morse code, but what is Morse code actually used for? Well, Morse code was and still is used a lot during war and combat as it is a quick way to get messages across the country. The most famous word used in Morse code is SOS, which means save our souls. This is a distress message for anyone who is in danger. So as you can see on the picture, it's got SOS and then it's got the Morse code underneath. So that's what it would have looked like. And here's what SOS would have sounded like. Okay, now that you've done all the learning, it is your activity time. You are going to be writing words or maybe even sentences using Morse code. Now, don't worry, you don't have to think of it off the top of your head. We've got the Morse code alphabet up here for you with all the letters down the side. So you could try writing a secret message in Morse code to a friend, family member or caregiver and see if they can work out what you've written to them. You can also try spelling out your name, writing a poem, or you could even write out your age in Morse code, because not only is it letters, it's got numbers as well. So when you're giving your secret message to someone and they need to figure out the Morse code, you might want to show them this page, or you might want to even show them the video so they can figure out the code for themselves. All right, you guys have lots of fun with that secret Morse code activity. Maybe you could beep, 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 send some Morse code my way. And remember, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can see lots of all the other learning videos on the Touring Teacher channel. And I'll see you guys very soon.